The Germans say that they invented the Holzhausen, and the Norwegians say that they invented the Holzhausen. And I have German heritage and Norwegian heritage, and Joel has nothing but Norwegian heritage. So I guess it's fitting that we both thought this was very cool and that we needed more of them all over the property. in the background and we're going to be making another Holzhausen. So we have our first Holzhausen up by the woodshed currently and we're going to make another one here and we're going to kind of show you all the different steps as we go. So let's and, go find our spot. But this one's for grandpa. Yeah we're going to make one so grandpa can have a nice pile of wood for next year. Mm -hmm. all, right, so, all right so I'm going to make the Holzhausen eight foot in diameter. So I have my tape measure here. I picked a somewhat level place. It doesn't have to be completely level. You can change the level of your holes housing as you build up the logs. So a somewhat level spot. I just have a, you know, a grout mixer here attachment for a drill. I stuck it in the ground. I tied a string to it. I have it right at the four foot mark. That's the center of the holes housing. And then I'm gonna take my string here and I'm gonna make it exactly four feet long, right to here, and then I'm gonna use that as a marker for my outer rim. I also, also like to tie a stick on the end of my string, just so I have something to grab as I go around and lay the logs. As I lay each log down, I have my string here attached to the center pole and also to my stick. And as I lay it, I make sure that my stick can clear. It's a good spot, spot here, right by the trail. This whole thousand is going to be for my dad. He came and cut this wood and we're gonna build that for him to season his wood. Then you can just pull the pickup truck right here and load it up when the wood is seasoned. What I will do though, every couple layers, is get the rubber mallet. I'll just go through, make sure we're staying in line.
you can see in the middle there, you have any oddly shaped pieces, they just get tossed in the center. The whole center of the Holzhausen is just thrown in wood. I don't necessarily think that the wood dries out faster in a Holzhausen um, because if the wood is ranked in a straight line you're gonna get wind from both sides and here you know the center is filled with the wood so I don't know if the air goes through it um, so it doesn't dry faster but I think it looks really good and then if you have a lot of hilly land and not many areas for a straight path of wood to go a big wall of wood this is great because you can keep the whole stack of wood in one eight foot circle. So it's good if you have a lot of hills. Let me, let me show you the finished project of our first whole thousand. I showed you some parts of building our first whole thousand and then I've showed you some parts of building our second whole thousand. And I just want to show you the finished product here of the first one. All right, so the finished product is about six feet tall. I'm about 5'5", five five and just a little bit taller than me. That way I can reach um, to get the wood down and back up. Also, you can see here that I have the bark up on top. Um, that's supposed to help keeping the rainwater off. I don't know how much it'll actually help. I cre created a drip edge that sticks out from the rest of the house. So the whole house has a nice flat surface and then the drip edge sticks out and I have that drip edge all the way around so when it rains hopefully the water will rain across here and come straight down instead of falling back down onto the wood. The horizontal pieces there are to keep the logs pointing down into the center of the Holzhausen. That way the walls are stable and they won't tumble out. Has that nice inward pressure all the way around. So overall, this is a fun little project. I don't know if it really is gonna dry the wood any faster, but I think it looks really good. It's nice if you have a hilly area just to keep all your wood stacked in one spot. You don't have to follow the terrain of a hilly piece of land. And it's just a nice project if you have some time on your hands and wanna just make your yard look a little nicer. Hope you